Hey everybody, it's File Under Action. I'm here representing the Wraith unit. We are back on the Nexus. Apparently we have a bunch of stuff to do. So let's um, let's see what, what all we can do here. So that's... That's to speak with Tan. That's Addison. Spender. I need to talk to Spender. I need to talk to Aridana. I need to talk to Nilkin. I need to talk to Carrie. And those are done. So let's start with this. Let's start with... Let's start with this. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need... Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me? Everyone, I'm just... so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, <coughs> it's not half as bad as the reality. Just hmm. last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. You'd think your boss would have the power to do something. She hates Spender, but there's only one of her, and she can't always be around to deal with him. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Okay, I can talk to Kesh. Let's go to... Let's go to Aradana. Nope, that's not a door. Hey, let's talk to you. Welcome, traveler. How may I assist? What goes on in hydroponics? Hydroponics is an essential element of the Nexus's life support system. Whoa. To provide <laughs> what was that? Oxygen and food supplies. Feel free to stop by and see our botanist, Dr. Camden. He always enjoys speaking with visitors. Tell me about the Pathfinder headquarters. The Pathfinder headquarters is located within the operations center. It what are you looking at me for, bro? That's creepy. For years yeah, to come. look away. Oh, no. It is also where Director Jaren Tan oversees the initiative. That's weird. What do people around here do for fun? Due to resource constraints, the Nexus's recreational venues are limited to the Vortex. The Vortex is a social establishment where colonists can gather to relax or enjoy a drink. Please remember, Consumption of alcohol while operating machinery or piloting spacecraft is strictly prohibited. What's the Cultural Exchange Center? Hey, get out of here, the Cultural right? Center Weird. is intended as an educational venue for any new alien species we meet. By teaching them about the initiative, we hope to foster an air of cooperation and understanding. Tell me about the tech labs. Initiative scientists are hard at work in the tech labs. Analyzing data and samples acquired within Andromeda. The resulting information is then used to further initiative research and outpost creation. 
Please be aware, access to the tech labs is restricted to essential personnel only. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Dude, what do you want? Get out of here. You are creepy, bro. Do I go? I gotta go up here. Is that a door that I can go through? Does not look like it. I can't scan stuff here, I need to remember that. Wouldn't it be more practical to build these vaults in the surface? Find your rider? Nah, Rack and I engineered mastered underground construction a millennium ago. Do you want to talk to me or do you want to run away? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. That could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Uh, do you have more? Run the equations at Sam note on Arc Hyperion. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation of young minds. I want to craft a model of the cluster for them, accurate and splendid from your data. My prototype is on that console. Add more scans to improve it, and I will share my educational budget with you. And my thanks. Okay. Three initial system models will be completed by next week. We shall see our place in the world. Orbital variance for the next system must be corrected as construction corrects our orientation. A reminder, our daughters will not know stasis. The 600 years sleeping, they will... Be born of Andromeda and whatever is unfolding. This cluster in its chaos was not welcoming, but it matters less what we suffer here, more what we bring. Since we are, by definition, an invasive species in Andromeda, our neural footprint must be... Okay, I think I've done that already. I'm not really sure how to use that just yet, but I'm going to have to. Okay, now. I'm going to confront you. Go back down to operations. Let's do that. Although there's something out there. Hi. So glad I went to Shapiro. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area.
Okay, let's do this real quick. planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did he leave the Milky Way? I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So, when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully, it won't be long before we have our first visitors. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, Check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Welcome to Scan the culture. to assess the nature of the damage. Oh. Oh my. There's a lot here. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way, the original system of the colonists now arriving in Andromeda. Home to countless life forms, the Milky Way is a galaxy where friendship and peace are held in the highest regard. Those arriving in Andromeda bring with them this spirit of enlightenment. They look forward to making your acquaintance. I'm Shen Garden, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived. Okay, um... later, I guess. It's that scourge I'm wondering about. Standard colony radiation shields should handle it. But I hate you.
And down we go. Operations. Sure. You're listening to HNS, your source for news in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda edition. Animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. An anonymous source, really? Pathfinder. Wow. I'm Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. HNS, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two. I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny. Or something. I haven't had much sleep. It must be difficult to set up a broadcast from scratch. No, it's easy. Beyond the lack of staff, resistant authorities, and constant technical glitches. Still, I'm getting there. I may have an honest-to-goodness source in Nexus security, if she ever calls me back. Who's your source? No journalist worth their salt will ever give that up. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, HNS is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher ups try and tell us what to broadcast, TAN especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. The plan was just to work as a reporter out here. Then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. Hmm. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but... Seems like your job takes you all over, to places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. What do you need from me, exactly? I'm digging up good stories here, but not a lot of people beyond the Nexus can hear them. Our long-distance transmitter sends package data between ships, and even planet side, Provided there's a receiver on the other end. I need someone to place receivers and boost our signal. We only have a few, so they need to go on planets with people. Sure. Okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. Cool. Pathfinder. I'm Sid, Vetra's sister. Vetra oh, hi. told me all about you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor comms from colonists. Progress updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. Cool. Oops. Where is she? She 
she's up there. And then... That's over there. Let's go over there first. Yeah. Oh, track. How many times have I told you this story? Three hundred and forty-three. Wait, what? You. Posterity's sake, in case the initiative goes belly up, and the next is a four ring circus. I don't like how Tam operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist. He's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. He's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Kandros about this, and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated, or maybe not. Seriously hate this kind of drama. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. Okay. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesh and me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. Pathfinder. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Hijack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence, but you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Nothing more for now. Good luck out there. Okay. Down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. I'm going to Tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Yeah, you're innocent of that, but you're guilty of tampering with evidence, construct, obstructing an investigation, you know, all kinds of crazy crap. Um, don't need to do that. No. Uh, carry. 